April will bring the flowers and murders in showers. What's inside the Horror Pack, the monthly horror movie subscription service. Even though it really is out of date, my calendar over there is still telling me that we're well within the month of April. As we are, of course, getting near the end of April, perhaps looking into then the month of May, you may decide that it may be time to get on board a new subscription service where every single month a company will drop off four horror titles and four horror Blu-rays. Hey, you're in luck. Horror Pack is such a subscription service. You can click the link down below in the video description if you guys are interested to get a random selection of four titles. Not to... Not to startle you with my four fingers, but four titles, like I said, at your doorstep every single month. I'm going to reach off to the side here. And off yonder here is my knife. This is McCutcheon's. We're going to be slicing the package very carefully here in the body bag. Let the movies breathe, after all. Ooh, I almost pricked myself in the process. But let's cut the bag here on the side. Let's ah, open this up. And I have yet no idea what the titles are going to be. I'm going to pull these out, obviously, one at a time. If you have seen any of the following features, let me know down below in the comment section. Good, bad, or sometimes my daughter likes to do now is kind of middle of the road, where she's not quite happy, she's not quite unhappy. She's kind of just, you know, she's about that. She's about that. Pulling out the first title, we've got ourselves My Friend Dahmer, starring uh, Ross Litch and H. Uh, and H. Dallas Roberts, uh, Alex Wolf, and Vincent Carthesier. I don't know if that's correctly the name. It's based on the acclaimed graphic novel. I just recently watched, I shouldn't say recently, I suppose like last year, watched that new Dahmer miniseries that was on Netflix. It's pretty disturbing. I haven't yet seen this one, so this is going to be an interesting one to watch. Disturbingly compelling and original, says Owen Gliberman of Variety. On the back, Jeffrey Dahmer, played by Disney Channel's Ross Lynch, of all characters, of all actors that would jump on board play, portraying Jeffrey Dahmer is an awkward teenager struggling to make it through high school with a family life in ruins. His bizarre behavior at school attracts unexpected friends, a group of band nerds who form the Dahmer fan club headed by Durf Backert, De Back Durf, played by Alex Wolf of Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. But as the near graduation, as it, as they near graduation, Jeffrey's depra depravity, boy, I'm having a hard time with this one, continues to take hold as he spirals further out of control. Based on Backdurf's critically acclaimed 2012 graphic novel and written for the screen by director Mark Mayers, My Friend Dahmer is a haunting, sad, funny, true story of Jeffrey Dahmer in high school. This was released in 2018, so 10 years ago, no, not 10 years ago, 8 years ago, 8 years ago, no, <laughs> that's way off, 6 years ago, ah, 6 years ago, the running time for this is 107 minutes. Special features include the interview with Ross Lynch, behind-the-scenes slideshow, and theatrical trailer. Have you seen it? Let me know. The next title we're going to be pulling out from the bag here, we've got ourselves Monstrous. Oh, this looks interesting. Starring Christina Ricci. The past can pull you under. I already like the... In I'm already interested in this by just the cover of this alone. On the back, uh, this was released, I guess before we actually talk a little bit about the film itself. This was released... I can tell you it's 92 minutes. What I can't seem to tell you, though, is what's the release date on this? If it is, if it's here, it's quite small. I would imagine it's fairly recent. A terrifying new horror awaits Laura, played by Christina Ricci, and her seven-year-old son, Cody, when they flee her abusive ex-husband and try to settle into a new life in an idyllic and remote lakeside farmhouse. Still traumatized, their physical and mental well-being are pushed to limit as their fragile existence is threatened. I cannot see a runtime or a release date time for this. Anybody sees it? Anybody? I'm sure I probably could look it up afterwards, but Monstrous. That looks interesting enough. The next title we have ourselves is Cruel Summer, the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. Cruel Summer, if I can actually find it on this one, does not still say. Well, it's 2021 Dead Convention. And then it's got some several awards from 2021 and 2022. So I would be safe to assume it's probably from 2021. From director Scott Taperman comes a new tale of slasher terror. A group of college students plan one final pre-graduation party at a secluded lake house for the ultimate 80s murder mystery weekend. Unaware that a masked psycho has just decided to join the celebration. Killer twists and turns are surround every corner. And so does the crazed madman. Will anyone survive the slaughter? Or is this going to become a, cru a truly cruel summer? 
Hey, that sounds pretty interesting. Bonus features include a not so cruel summer featurette, uh, favorite slashers, commentary behind the scenes, trailers, and more. Yeah, I would probably say it's probably 2021. If you know, obviously the fact that it says 2021 is one of the awards here. Have you seen it? Let me know. The last title we have inside this month's horror pack is Till Death, starring Megan Fox. What's Megan Fox doing lately? Other than hooking up with Machine Gun Kelly. Boy, that's a weird relationship, isn't it? Aren't they wearing like vials of blood and doing weird wonky things? Maybe they're not even together anymore. Survival is the best revenge. Emma, played by Megan Fox, is stuck in a, stra a stale marriage to Mark and is surprised. Is this a, a real story of their marriage with uh, Brian Austin Green from 90210? Maybe it is. I think she had openly said that the, her marriage to Brian Austin Green was pretty stale. Maybe it is a movie about her. Uh, is stuck in a stale marriage with Mark and is surprised when he whisks her away to their secluded lake house for a romantic evening on their 10th anniversary. But everything changes the next morning when she finds herself handcuffed to Mark's dead body. Trapped and isolated in a dent of, in dead of winter, Emma learns this is only the beginning of Mark's twisted plan. And to survive, she must fight the hired killers come to finish her off. Wow, that is interesting. Uh, running time for this is 88 minutes still oh yeah 2021 it's right down below here that one definitely seems interesting so does this one so does this one and this one i will still watch i haven't actually seen any of these films have you let me know down below in the comments section i probably will end up starting i think with till death and then from there i'll be jumping over to monstrous if you guys though again are interested and would like to get horror titles like i said it's to your doorstep or you you know if you have neighbors that always are coming by and you suspect that they're stealing things, but you keep looking outside and they're just kind of scooting across the sidewalk here. And you're like, I, I know, I know Mrs. McCutcheon, so she's doing something. Everybody in the house is like, nah, Mrs. McCutcheon is harmless. That's what she wants you to believe. I think Mr. McCutcheon's, Mrs. McCutcheon's at the very least is stealing our flyers. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Mrs. McCutcheon's. If you would certainly, though, like to subscribe, you know, like I said, you can click the link down below in the video description. If, though, you guys did enjoy the video, why not hit it with a like? If you guys are wanting to stick around for more, maybe also want to be on the lookout for Mrs. McCutcheon. She might just steal your mail, too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.